Okay, this is part three. I just dried the bolt off. Now, let's say you want to take the firing pin out because you want to get that clean as well. What you do is you take your cleaning kit container here. You're going to want to stick this little, this part of the bolt head, the triangular part. You'll see a little pin, a little pin hole that wants, that's where the pin comes out right there. You're going to want to stick that triangular part right into your cleaning kit tube. That's dual purpose. One is so if you need to hammer on it, you can put it down and hammer on it. You can hold it good. Another reason is once you push the pin out, the pin will be inside here. So you don't lose it. So you put that on there, you take your punch, put it into this hole. This is the bottom of the bolt, the part that will catch the bullet and pull it out of the magazine and load it into the chamber. Put that right in there. This one takes a little bit of hammering. Okay, now I've hammered that pin right out. You can see that the, re the retaining pin is gone and now the punch is all the way through the bolt and it is actually holding the firing pin in the bolt. Your pin, the, the retainer pin, is now in here. Put that aside. Now you can bolt face down, pull your punch out, turn it upside down, making sure not to let that pin fall out. Pull the pin right out. That's your firing pin. Just dry it off get any crap off of it. And you look down the look down the bolt, make sure there's nothing blocking it. This one looks pretty good. Just put a drop of oil down that. Then you're going to take your toothbrush once this is all dry, you're going to get into all these little cracks. All the little cracks everywhere that there is a lip you're going to want to get that good all these grooves you want to toothbrush those out anywhere up here toothbrush everything every little lip you're going to want to toothbrush it just gets all the little crap out of there all sides you're going to want a toothbrush out where the actual casing sits. Make sure there's no little flakes of metal in there. You always want to get right underneath the extractor here. There's always crap under there. A good way to get that out. Uh, your punch should fit in there. Relatively good. Scrape that out. As you can see, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it scrapes some shit out of there. If you don't have a punch or a cleaning kit, you can use the actually the tip of your cleaning or your firing pin. Put that in there. That'll act the same way. Clean that crap out of there. Toothbrush it in just to get all that loosened up crap that's in there. That looks good. We're going to take our bolt carrier, it's still wet with oil from soaking while we've been doing all this other stuff, dry it off as good as you can, get most of the oil off of there if you can. This did also loosen up any carbon on there. It is still black at the tip, that's just because I've put a couple thousand rounds through this rifle in the past couple months. So that's why it is all black still. 
Then you're going to want to toothbrush this just like you did the bolt, every little crevice you're going to want to toothbrush it. There's these little grooves up here, toothbrush those out where the piston meets the carrier. There's a little crack in there, toothbrush that out. I found that if you hold the toothbrush towards the head more you can get a little, it's a little bit easier. Right here there's always a big buildup of carbon, toothbrush that real good. Toothbrush this back wall. Brush out this little groove right here that your bolt goes into. Do the sides of the bolt carrier real good. Slowly turning it while you're brushing it. Get into these grooves real good. You don't want anything in there that can build up friction. Get these little grooves here. Back of this, underneath this, this little block here. Okay, that looks good. Then you're going to come here and look at this, your gas tube. Dry it off. Get all the big chunks of crap out of there. If there's a bunch of crap in there, toothbrush it off a little bit. Toothbrush all around this part. That is a place that carbon builds up a lot. And here you can see there's a little lip right here. Get that lip good. All the way around. Same thing in the front. Where this piece was pressed onto this tube. Crap always gets up underneath there. Toothbrush that out. You know, any of that little crap you can get out is just less smoke that your gun's going to be smoking later. Then I like to toothbrush the tip here. That's because there's a, ver a lot of carbon built up in that particular part of the gas tube. Let's get your finger in there, try to wipe that out if you can. Wipe the back part out if you can. Get as much of it wiped out as possible. Then I take a couple of drops, put a couple of drops of oil in there, stick my pinky in here, oil it up. And this is what I'm talking about. If you're a sissy and scared of getting your hands dirty, then you shouldn't be handling guns. Right? Because that shit can happen. Don't be scared. You're not going to die. You can go wash your hands. It's not like you're going to have to put this finger right in your mouth. So get it all nice and wet in there. As you can see, it's pretty wet in there. And put that aside. This crap off. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your cleaning rod here, your cleaning kit. You notice on one side there's a small hole, the other side there's a bigger hole. You take the cleaning rod, you put the threaded tip through the big hole into the small hole, right through it, pull it through. Now you got a handle for your cleaning rod. Then you're going to take your brush here, screw it onto your cleaning rod. And then I will continue this on part three, or four, rather. I will see you in part four. Thanks.